It's 236 years old, one of the oldest houses in all of Kentucky. It's the house of one of the co-founders of Lexington, William McConnell. This house was in Virginia when it was built, and it's still here. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts, and I'm in front of the house of William McConnell. It's at the corner of Forbes Road and Old Frankfurt Pike in Lexington, Kentucky. Like I said, the house was built by Lexington co-founder William McConnell. In 1774, William McConnell came from Pennsylvania with his brother to scout out the area. They went back home to Pennsylvania for the winter and came back in June of 1775 to set up a camp here. Shortly after setting up camp, word came from the new settlement of Boonesboro that in April of that year, the Revolutionary War had started with the Battles of Lexington and Concord. The brothers chose to name their camp Lexington in honor of the event. Native American attacks in the area forced the brothers to abandon their camp and they went back home. But in 1779, Colonel Patterson returned to the area to establish a town. The McConnell brothers were part of that group. The group chose to keep the name Lexington as the name of the town. This house is only about a mile or so from the springs that have the McConnell brothers' name and the site of their original camp. William McConnell built this house in 1785, and luckily for all of us, it still stands. Recently, it was used as the offices of the Eugene Barber & Sons Livestock Company. It sat next to the Lexington Stockyards. In 2016, the stockyards burned down completely, literally just a few yards from this house. But miraculously, the house was spared, and people like you and I get to continue to enjoy and marvel at it. Imagine the history that has passed right in front of this house. The area is an industrial area right now, but at one time was on the main road to Frankfurt. I see things like this, and I try to imagine what the area looked like all around it. And I'm quite certain it's totally different than what it looked like originally. So, here we are at the home of one of Lexington's founders, William McConnell, a place that most people don't know about. So we're glad to bring its history to you. And remember, Family Tree Nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.